real estate and love are both fair game. Despite mainly focusing on the Southern California luxury real estate market, selling Sunset nonetheless gives the cast's private lives a lot of coverage. The Oppenheim Group's agents hang around at their West Hollywood office, catching up on office gossip, especially on the newest hires, when they're not pounding the pavement in five-inch stilettos. Chris Halstaz, who joined the company after appearing in soap operas like The Young and the Restless, was the new girl in town in season one. Stas was wed to Justin Hartley when the Netflix series debuted in March 2019, but seven months later, the This Is Us star shocked viewers as well as his then-wife by filing for divorce. Like Stas, Heather Ray Young experienced interest in her love life in season two. Young began seeing Tarek El Moussa, who had been married to Christina Hawk, after breaking up with Nick Ebert, a hockey player she had a long-distance relationship with in season one. The Oppenheim group rapidly grew interested in their connection, probably most notoriously when Amanza Smith questioned whether Young had actually met El Mouse's children during the relationship. In April 2021, Young told us weekly of Hawk, we co-parent very well together. The kids are the most important thing in the world to all of us, and we talk about them every day. We are all happy as long as the children are happy. Given that Stas began dating Jason Oppenheim, the co-founder of the Oppenheim Group, in July 2021, it appears likely that the relationship drama will only worsen. After pictures of the couple kissing up while on vacation went viral on social media, the billionaire gave us a statement confirming their connection. He said, Chris Hell and I became good friends, and it has grown into an unbelievable friendship. We are really happy together and I love her dearly. To find out more about the Selling Sunset cast's romantic relationships, continue reading. Thank you for listening and don't forget to subscribe.